हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज़ क्लास नंबर इलेवन ऑफ द ब्लेंडर एक्सट्रीम बिगनर सीरीज़ इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी कवर्ड एडवांस सिलेक्शन टेक्निक्स इन ब्लेंडर्स एडिट मोड डेट क्लास वाज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर बिगनर्स इफ़ एनीवन मिस डेट क्लास दे कैन क्लिक ऑन द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन टू वॉच इट इन टू क्लास वी विल एक्सप्लोर ट्रांसफार्म ओरिएटेशन इन ब्लेंडर्स थ्री डी वर्ड वी हैव ए कोआर्डिनेट सिस्टम consisting of three axes x y and z to understand transform orientation i will click here which will display a gizmo along with the selected object here you can see that the axes in the gizmo match exactly with the coordinate system present in the scene the y axis in the scene corresponds to the y axis in the gizmo the x axis in the scene correspond to the x axis in the gizmo and so on you can also move the object along these axes but if we want to move this object diagonally we have to do it in two steps first we will move it here and then the second time we will move it in this direction and even then it will not be exactly diagonal you can see above that it says global here if we click on it there are more options available including local listed as the second option let's click on it but you probably would not notice any difference whether we use global or local orientation there is no noticeable change but if i rotate the object and you can see that the gizmo is still aligned with the 3d world however when i select local here the gizmo also rotate according to the object this mean that the object has its own coordinate system which changes its orientation based on the object's transformations now let me demonstrate it by moving it diagonally and you will understand first i will move to the top side and from here instead of global i will switch to local then i will rotate the object 45 degree on the z axis now you can see that i can easily move the object diagonally using its local coordinates we also have shortcut keys to move the object in local coordinates for example if i switch to global here and move the object along the y axis by pressing g and then y it moves along the global y axis this is also being displayed here as along global y it means it is moving according to the y axis of the 3d world but if i press g then y and then y again it will show along local y as mentioned above this mean that the object is moving according to its local coordinates but let me show you by rotating the object i have rotated the object now if i press g and then y the object moves along the global y axis however if i press y again after that the object will move along the local y axis after local we have the option of normal to explain normal i will go to the objects edit mode and bevel and edge then we will have an additional face created after that if you go to the overlays menu and select mesh edit mode overlay and then click on display normals here you will see that each face in the object now has a blue lines attached to it this line follows or shows the direction of the face indicating which way the face is oriented here we have the normal option selected now if i click here the gizmo will align with the normal direction of the selected face if i select this face you can also see here that the gizmo is following the direction of the normal of the face 
This allows us to move the face along its normal direction. Next, I will go here and hide the normals again. After that, we have the gimbal option. Gimbal is a bit more advanced and will be covered in advanced level tutorials. For now, let's leave it. Then we have the view option. When I will select view and let it bring me back to the object mode from the edit mode. As you can see in the global mode, it appears like this. However, when I select view, the gizmo will be aligned according to the view. It means we can transform our object according to the current view using the gizmo in the view mode. After that, we have two more options, cursor and parent. These are a bit advanced for now, so we will cover them in the next classes. I hope today's class helped you understanding transform orientation. We will meet again in the next class, but I request you to practice because practice is essential in 3D. Until the next class, goodbye and take care.